So there's so many different uh, points of application in terms of how do we um, let go, and then maybe we'll end a little bit about final thoughts on succession. You and I talk about silence a lot. It's, it's part of our a core spiritual formation practice for us. Yeah. Um, but how does silence, uh, intentional silence, contemplation, yeah. um, how does that affect or inform transitions and the art of letting go? Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if it's possible to let learn to let go in a healthy way. You will. Everybody's going to let go. Mm-hmm. Uh, most do it against their wishes, without a strong dimension of silence and stillness. Of on a daily basis, letting go before the Lord. Mm-hmm. Silence is being still before God and letting go. Yeah. It's really about this, right? My hands are up. I'm letting go of the day. What's what's unfolding and um, my ability to trust in God? Because it's really about trusting that mm-hmm. you know God's got this thing. I, I don't, but He does. And you know, I'm not in charge. And so every day in silence, I am letting go. And mm-hmm. I think that. Without that formation discipline being deep in us, as especially as we're growing older, I think of young leaders, this needs to get firmly founded in our lives spiritually on a daily basis, that our ideas about how the world works are not God's. Mm. And we're not concerned about our self-image, mm-hmm. you know, preserving that. And we're just, we're, we're getting in touch with reality. 